I think that was thanks. Each year, the graduating class, each year the graduating class determines a faculty member that they would like to have address them at their graduation. This year it's a very special person in the lives and the hearts of many of our graduates. I think the greatest compliment and you've heard his name frequently, but I think the greatest compliment I have heard him paid was when I was working with a group of students and this group of students were talking about teachers as students would. Some comments were not so generous about some while they were very generous about others. About our presenter this evening, they said, he loves what he does but most of all, he cares about us. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the faculty address, Robert Reed. Mr. Brahm, Dr. Loss, members of the board, my fellow faculty and staff members, parents, relatives, and friends of the graduates. I feel honored to be chosen to speak at this most significant passage in the lives of these fine young people before me. Graduates of the Henry Sibley class of 1994, I salute you upon the completion of what must seem to you 13 very long years of preparation for this day. I must say, that at my age, those same 13 years seem to have been amazingly brief. Eight years ago, I had the privilege of speaking before the graduating class of 1986. Someone very kindly recorded that speech for me, and as I recently listened to it, I thought for a moment, why not give it again? No one will ever know. Now, I didn't seriously contemplate doing that, for you are unique. After all, you are, for the most part, the bicentennial babies. And as an American history teacher, I have to be impressed by that. Every class is unique, and you deserve words from me which are intended specifically for the class of 1994. But therein lies the problem. What can a graduation speaker say to a class which will be both relevant to its members and has not been said by every graduation speaker throughout history? That presents a real challenge. I suppose I could urge you to pursue academic excellence in your upcoming college experience. That was one of the themes in my 1986 speech, and I still think it's good advice. Go for it. But what would that say to those of you who are not planning on attending college? I read an article not too long ago about typical graduation speeches. The author noted that in many of them, the speaker tried to encourage the graduates with the theme, you can do anything you want to do. I agreed with the author that that's rather poor advice, for we can't do anything we want to do. Recognizing both our opportunities and our limitations is, I think, a mark of maturity. Maybe the Army's slogan of, be all that you can be, is closer to the mark. I do urge you to achieve at a level that is as close to your potential as reasonably possible. But maybe doing isn't what it's all about anyway. Maybe being is more important than doing. I believe that it is. So perhaps the core of my speech should be an explanation of the meaning of life and an urging of its pursuit. In some ways I would like to do that, but I'm not going to. Ours is a pluralistic world which embraces many philosophies 
And Sibley High School as a public school is a reflection of that pluralism. I have very strong convictions about the meaning of our sojourn here. But as a public school teacher, it is not my place to expound upon the truth as I see it. That is a search which each of you must conduct for himself or herself. It is my hope that while here, you develop some of the critical tools necessary for that search. So, where does that leave me? What words can I say to all of you which will have universal application and relevance? I think that as we look about us, we see a society and a world that is torn by conflict, anger, confrontation, and violence. If we look broadly, we can see it in Bosnia or in Rwanda. The massive scale of killing in those places sickens us. If we look within our country, we can see that our streets seethe with unrest and fighting and crime. In our frustration, it seems that we are perpetually debating possible solutions. But if we look very closely about us, within our schools and our workplaces and our families, we see alienation, prejudice, gossip, and hate. But herein lies the opportunity for every member of the class of 1994 and for all of us wherever we may find ourselves and what, in whatever activity we pursue. We have the opportunity to extend friendship instead of alienation. We can promote acceptance rather than prejudice. We can praise instead of gossip. And we can love instead of hate. This is a possibility for all of us. It is what is common to our humanity in the midst of all of our differences. I began by saying that I would not parrot my 1986 speech to you, but I would like to close with the same quote that I used eight years ago. These are words uttered by Robert Kennedy in the midst of the vexations, the clashes, and the confrontations of the Vietnam War era nearly 30 years ago. He said, we can make an effort to understand and to comprehend and to replace that violence, that stain of bloodshed that is spread across our land with understanding, compassion, and love. Graduates of the class of 1994, that is my challenge to all of you. Thank you, and goodbye. Graduates, I believe that you have received all the advice that we can possibly give you, and the time has come. Not too soon, probably. Dr. Loss, as superintendent, I wish to certify on behalf of Henry Sibley High School that the members of the class of 1994 seated in front of me have met all obligations and all standards for graduation, and I present them to you for their diplomas. On behalf of the board, on behalf of the administration and the staff, I congratulate the 1994 graduating class of Sibley Senior High School. I would hope that all the parents, uncles, aunts, extended family, and indeed the grandparents would join with me to applaud these people at this point. And as life changes, one has to look upon what has proceeded in, in past graduations when one could look, as Mr. Yellen 
presented to us, taking flight, taking wing to the world. Uh, let me assure the parents here this evening that if statistics in today's world bear out, each of these children will return to you at least four times. <laughs> Do not change their bedrooms. I think it's apropos to say that, that each of these people in the world in which we find ourselves will it need that extended family. You have indeed accomplished a great deal in these 13 years. But it is to be most important that you continue to maintain the contact with the people that have supported you up to this point and to extend yourself to the people that you would con come in contact with later in your life. I think it is only appropriate at this time that this body of young people applaud the people that have supported them. And if you can find them in this crowd, say thank you. I think it's also appropriate to say that there's not one of you young people that will not have the occasion in the rest of your life to go back to your school annual and say, I wonder what happened to him and to her. I remember when. I think it's important this evening that you not lose sight of the fact that you should always maintain contact with the people that have great meaning for you and to always extend your support for the people that you may come in contact with. It's something a little different. I would hope that you would look to the person to either side or someone that is close to you and say to them, good luck and a good future to you. I extend to you my personal congratulations and may the hope and challenge of the world and the wind always be at your back. Board members and I and Mr. Brom will join together at this particular time to present the diplomas to the graduating class of 1994. Rebecca Morrison. Leslie Yawaki. Jeremy Meyer. Andrew Rogoshevsky. Holly Larson. Sukafone Razavan. Michael Ryan. Dwayne Baker. Erica Roca. Elizabeth Stimler. William Kraus. Cruz Reese. Devana Brasan. Laura Castellanos. Nathan Steiner. Van Tran. Jill Kane. Becky Silver. Jason Tudewal. Matthew Chamberlain. Alfred Liano. Joe Lai. Irene Hansen. Amy Vitale. Bernardo Cueva. Hector Martinez. 
Catherine Wellen. Jana Bruder. Barry Dice. Christopher Doyle. Alicia Leiter. Susan Sackey. Jeffrey Faust. Andrew Hansen. Tara Salava. Ann Tamsky. David Naff. Ricardo Hernandez. Tamara Tan. Heather Adams. Tanya Taylor. Amber Horner. Noah Lipschultz. Daniel Marvey. Sarah Peterson. Lisa Ritchie. Daniel Rosenberg. Daniel Stefaniak. Amy Applebaum. Christina Carboni. Nathan Turk. James Vetter. Ardell Hammond. Heather Bowman. Tony Asman. Thomas Chase. Lisa Klein. Rose Johnson. Michael Bravo. John Reed. Howard Paper. Lee Anderson. Carrie LaRock. Gail Marks. Jeff Cloutier. Robert Hill. Heather Olson. Melissa Ramsey. Andrew Knuth. Daniel Krzyzewski. Heidi Joy Schrader. Laura Miller. Wayne Kuchenmeister. Todd Olson. Shannon Weldon. Sydney Hagstrom. Jesse Penner. Sean Keane. Christine Blazer. Sarah Sequist. Kimberly Carranza. Nicholas West. John Seidel. Alicia Bear. Catherine Milos. Jared Rush. Benjamin Buck. Elizabeth Colson. Antoinette Bell. Dominic Dinger. Oscar Zuniga Jr. Jessica Dizek. Karen Delgahausen. Benjamin George. Derek Eskins. Pamela Anderson. Shannon Wingy. Brian Strasser. Jason Yellen. Mike Youngren. Mark Malinoff. Melissa Gustin. Christina Garibay. <laughs> Peter Nelson. Jose Diaz. Megan McAllistrom. Laura Kubik. 
Corey Just. Chad Supa. Julie Fender. Sarah McElstrom. Mike McMonagle. Jason Gorder. Shana Shackman. Jory Stillman. Anthony Allen. Timothy Myers. Lisa Kaiser. Ann Crosby. Allison McClung. Shannon Gallagher. David Carlson. William Cuevas. Jennifer Erickson. Nicole Schlegel. Matthew Conkey. Randy Gore. Stephanie Goldsworthy. Patricia Cosienda. Thomas Lloyd. William Haight. Jennifer Herzog. Tara Haugland. <laughs> Mark Smokler. Andrew Lonergan. Sheila Toomey. Christina Johnson. James Pavoni. Michael Stickney. Joseph Bauer. Philip Henry. Samantha Sinali. Rachel Christensen. Eric Handberg. Brian Campbell. Andrea Price. Deborah LeMay. Jason Jamar. Michael Webby. Jenna Bands. Robin Altman. Timothy Nelson. Michael Milstead. Christine Burgi. Gina Ingebrigtsen. David Deeb. David Bauer. Robin Jero. Melissa Bennett. Sarah Groff. Shelley Hayes. Anthony Emerson. Sean Sears. Amy Patnode. Jessica Tim. Eric Spruce. Kent Doffing. Amanda Pratt. Julie Pelkey. Timothy Gruntner. David Gove. Catherine Rodrique. Amy Prudholm. Matthew Hoffer. Timothy Hedinger. Angela Carlson. Stephen Mertinger. Kelly Schmidt. Brian Resney. Charles Henriksen. Amy Rydell. Jody Biergo. Joshua Herman. 
Jason Pagan. Catherine Henry. Jeanette Lacey. Earl Sermon. Scott Tislin. Molly Davern. Jennifer Isaacs. Matt Anderson. George German. Jennifer Thompson. Loretta Bolduck. Joseph Haight. Michael Temke. Emily Brown. Jodine Booty. Teresa Morse. Mari Millard. Patrick Niemeyer. Jeffrey Ingalls. Jennifer Jansen. Lisa Neistat. Jason Chu. John Call. Nicole Rosopoulos. Mary Schwartz. Justin Latshaw. Jason Lyons. <laughs> Carrie Shevlin. Sarah Schoholm. Thomas Sabian. Dennis Shade. Kimberly Dandel. Heather Lowen. Chris Stripling. Scott Sorheim. Aaron Johnson. David Okerson. Jennifer Sullivan. Amy Bergstedt. Daniel Ehrenberg. Eric Johnson. Carissa Graff. Jody Dryman. Thomas Losey. Ryan Geralds. Jacqueline Jameson. Jennifer House. Matthew St. Martin. David Campbell. Christina Langfield. Sherry Jung. Darren Hootmaker. Brian Cardinal. Sigrid Rea. Bradley Cohen. Heather Thompson. Amy Swenson. Christopher Enderlein. Tony Dracula. Kelly Strohmeyer. Amy Gunderson. Zach Larmore. Brian Gregor. Christopher Littler. Carrie Nash. <laughs> Benjamin Speakman. Timothy Paskett. Thomas Spence. Thomas Henke. Christopher Ekstrom. Jason Richardson. Nathan Penny. Penny. 
and Charlie Keller. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege and my honor to present to you the graduates, Henry Sibley High School, 1994. St. Paul. The time is 10.01. 